Hey guys, Bentley K here. Welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel. <laughs> I forgot to say that first. Today's video is a fun Friday video and we are going to be doing these nails. I'm going to show you how I did this. Let's see if I can get my face out of the way. See, they have, they're, they're purple and then they have silver glitter. It's hard to see. There, this one, you can see this one. They have silver glitter in a the shape of the tip. They're beautiful. If you saw them in person, you'd know they're beautiful. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how I did it. I got sent a product from um, an Amazon seller and I will link it below. And we're gonna be trying out this new, it's a nail light, but it has these little lights inside and some of them are for UV and some of them are for LED or our LED. Anyways, it's cool because you can see when you have your toes or your hand in here, you'll see, you'll be holding it in there and it'll change from like color, like a regular yellow light, regular light, not yellow, but to the blue light. And it's, it's just cool. And it has three different times on it. It has 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and then 99. I don't know why they're 99, but it says that it is a double power, low heat on the 99. So I tried, I was using 60 seconds and I'm going to um, try some more with it, but I like it. And you're also, when you put it on this one, you can put your hand in and it'll turn on. The only thing I don't like about that is that then the, the timer, cause it, see it has a little count, thing it goes up and it will go all the way up to 99 and it won't do the 60 or 30 that way it'll just do the 99 with the double heat which actually I think it cooks it better that way so anyways I was going to try next time I didn't this time this time I used this one I think the whole time so that it got a real good cook on them but on my toes I used the 60 second one and I'll put little clips of my toes. I don't like my feet, so there will only be small clips. Um, I used the 60 second and then when it was all done, I did this um, 99 second one with the dual power low heat and they look great. They're just pink though. I didn't do anything fancy because it's my real toe. I haven't tried those press on ones yet that I got for my toes. I don't know if they're going to work anyways because I got weird toes. But I, I don't want to try those until like it's so hot outside. I'll only be wearing sandals because I don't want to put shoes on with those on. I don't know if people do that, but I'm not gonna. Anyways, I won't be doing those for till like maybe August when it's so hot you can't stand it. But that's what we're going to do. So I, if you want to see how I did these nails, stay tuned. And then I'm going to put clips in now of how I did it. Okay, I'm going to show you how I make the nails. Anyways, I start off with my command hook that I'm sure you guys saw in the other one. But if you didn't watch the other one, then this is a command hook. And it has a piece of this, I don't know what this is called. Where is that? Oh, it's in the drawer. Anyways, it's that tacky stuff that you use to stick stuff to the wall. It's just like putty. You can get it at Walmart. Um, and then I take my little sander. You don't have to do this because these are fake nails, but just to make sure that the polish adheres nicely, I just buff off some of this shine. And I am showing you this because I got sent this new nail dryer from an Amazon seller. And so I told them that I would give you guys my thoughts on this. Um, I'm not being paid. It's just, that's what they asked me to do, to give a review. So, and I have done or I have already used it I used it on my toes and I will insert some of that right here
guys. Then I take this and go like, just brush it off. And this is just a little kabuki that I got in a set off of Amazon also. And then I always make sure it's not touching the back here. So it's kind of lifted up a little bit because otherwise I get polish all over everything. See, I've gotten polish on it. You can see that. But, you know, I don't care. It just, sometimes it leaves a, a lip on the nail if it's stuck to that. Okay, and we are doing purple. So, with when you're doing these, you don't have to use a base coat. So you just go straight in with your color. I guess I'll just show you guys one. Oh, you know what I didn't do was, what you always need to do is go across this front because there's usually a little tab from when they made the nail. And you definitely want to make sure that's gone. And then you just paint your color. And we are doing purple. And I usually do a pretty thin coat, the first one. Because I do two coats of color. And then I do the sparkle. You want to make sure you go all the way down both sides and then go across there and then I try to go straight across and get some straight lines and then I go back this way. Actually I should have done that first just so there's no like you know where it's should actually not go all the way to the end which I just did because as you can see the darkness underneath that's where it went underneath because I went too close to the end. But that's okay. You'll be able to see it when you glue it on. So then you cook this and you just, I don't know, can you see the dryer? Where's the dryer? Nope. Okay, since we want to show the dryer, we're just going to scoot it over here. And I will show you the dryer the whole dryer. Anyways, now we just slide this in and hit the button. And that will go for 99 seconds. And I'll just turn this. Can you see it? There's my new dryer. And it's got a countdown timer on the top. So that'll go for 99 seconds. And while that's going, I normally wouldn't cook just one at a time. I would do three or four, maybe even five. I mean, you're supposed to do it with your whole hand, so I would normally do more. But since I'm doing this video, I don't want it to be so long. All right, first coat's on. Do another coat. Yeah, I'm not very good at nails. That's why I do them this way. So that I don't have to be good at it. Because if I have them on my fingers and I try to do my own nails, mm, it's not a pretty thing. Okay, I'm going to put that back in. Cook it again. I can cook it for less time. Because I have a 60 second timer and a 30 second timer. But since I'm still working on these, I'm just going to let it cook. Okay, to do the sparkle, what I use for the sparkle is this, I think I showed it to you guys before, it's this red carpet manicure LED nail gel polish and this color is Cinderella and it's a silver sparkle. And I also use this brush, this is the most important thing you need to do this with. And I got it on Amazon and I will put a link below. Um, if you want to do this. What I do is I take this and I just get a small dot of it and I put it right there. Okay, it didn't, I didn't get enough. I wiped off too much 
and I just put it right there. And it's just like a blob of glitter. Because the this is silver glitter in like a clear thing. But see how much is on there? And then I take this brush and I move it around. I move it sideways and down. And I pull it down to be like a like a nail tip, you know, so it's kind of rounded. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. But I'm just moving it around. And then I just take it and all these little glitters, you can just see them and you can just pull them down on the sides. And all I'm using on this brush is just these lo these little tips. Oops. See how it, the little tips? And that's what I'm using to move it around. And if you end up with like a hole, just keep going until it looks exactly like you want it to. It's hard to do it so that you guys can see it. I do better this way. And there's big chunks and little chunks and like big, big dots and then little glitter. I have it in silver and gold and I got it at Ulta. I think it's pretty. And then that's pretty much it. You just hold it up in the light to see if it's, you know, because different ways you look at it, you'll see different holes and stuff in it. And of course each nail will be different because, and then I wipe off my brush between each one because I don't want it to get stiff. So take these out and we'll cook this guy again. And then I go in with my gelish LED gel hard gel so that these are a little more sturdy. And I put a coat of this on. It also makes them really pretty and shiny. And then we're going to cook that one again. And then I do one more coat of the, the final coat is um, top coat. And I use a no wipe top coat. I just paint that on. Stick her back in the dryer, cook her again, and this is the final look. Well, you've seen the final look because I already showed you before I started this. But see how beautiful they are? Anyways, that is how you make them. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that demonstration of how I did these glittery nails. I've got gold and silver in this glitter and I just love doing that. Since I haven't figured out how to do the ombres, I need to get one that's like a, that clear pink um, gel because whenever I use the light pink, it just looks, I don't like it. So I need to get something with the clear pink. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this because I love doing this little glitter thing. I'll do the gold on the red and then the silver on the purple and the blue. Sometime here in the future, I will have red ones with gold and black ones with silver. And if I ever find that 
clear pink in a gel, maybe I'll get to do a natural. That's what I always liked, natural nails. They just felt classier to me. But now that I don't want to get my nails done, I just put these press-on ones and they don't have them. Well, they have them in pink and white, but they are square. I like to buy them preformed. I don't want to file them. I don't mind getting that little nub off the end. That's no big deal. But other than that, I don't want to mess with them. I just want to paint them, stick them on, and throw them away, and do it again. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Make sure you hit that little bell when you subscribe so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And share this on all your social media so that we can make our family grow, grow, grow. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you in my next video. I was going to say something else and I forgot now. That's how quick it comes and goes. Mwah!